Good morning. Mostly dry weather expected this week and any lingering showers out there this morning will taper off. We're going to see warm and breezy weather on your Sunday. Temperatures actually above average for a change and it's looking pretty quiet uh, to start next week. Here's a look at today's forecast though. Showers uh, pretty likely, especially out there this morning for the coast. Skies will stay rather cloudy even through the afternoon with blustery south southwest winds. In Northern California, partly cloudy skies today. Temperatures warming into the 70s, 74 in Weed, up to 76 in Wairika, and 75 in Mount Shasta. East of the Cascades, warmer weather today. Winds will be breezy, especially through the higher terrain of the east side, up to 66 for Silver Lake, 69 for High in Lakeview and Klamath Falls, and up to 60 in Chamalt. For, Northern, uh, for the Cascades, rather, we'll be looking at uh, any showers tapering off, and we'll see temperatures warming up to around 59 at Lake of the Woods and 70 in Butte Falls. For the Rogue Valley, look for breaks of sunshine this afternoon, dry weather through the afternoon, with highs topping out generally in the lower 70s. Here's a look at Stormcast showing the showers tapering off this afternoon, and then those breaks of sunshine for inland areas, but clouds will stay pretty stubborn along the Oregon coast. And then as we head into Sunday, slight chance of a shower at the coast, maybe a stray shower up along the Cascades with just some passing clouds rolling through the region. But as we head into Sunday evening, it does look like we should see some breaks of clear skies for most of the region. Clouds could be pretty stubborn near the coast and then also along parts of the Cascades. So that's good news that most of us will see some clearer conditions because we do have the total lunar eclipse going on Sunday evening. The total eclipse is from 829 PM that evening to 954 PM Sunday evening, but moonrise in the Rogue Valley isn't until 820 PM. Uh, so at, at the start of it, it's going to be pretty low in the sky. The moon, if you're looking off uh, generally to the east southeast. So if you do take any cool photos of that uh, total lunar eclipse. We'd love to see them. Email them to us weather at KDRV.com. Wine tasting should be dry this week, uh, rather this afternoon. If you're going to be heading out to any of the local wineries, even warmer weather expected on Sunday. Dry weather uh, for the Rogue Valley, including Jacksonville and Ashland. The Applegate Valley should be pretty quiet as well. Crater Lake forecasts a mild weather this weekend. A stray shower possible on Sunday. Winds will be breezy out of the southwest. The coast this weekend, definitely Sunday looking to be the drier of the two days. Uh, just a slight chance of a, at a shower on Sunday with highs near 60. As we head into the start of next week, looks pretty quiet, but uh, we could be getting a bit wetter as we head towards the second half of this upcoming work week and also likely seeing a drop in temperatures as well. But it's going to be warmer this weekend. Enjoy it. The coast uh, going to see quite a bit of cloud cover, though, through the weekend. Uh, but again, Sunday looking to be the drier of the two days this weekend. Northern California, look at that warm up. Highs up around 80 coming up on Sunday. Still pretty warm into the first part of next week. The Klamath Basin will be looking at those temperatures rising breezy through the weekend. Highs in the mid 70s on Sunday for the Cascades and Siskiyous. Expecting a, just a slight chance at a shower on Sunday. Dry weather Monday and Tuesday and then wet weather does look to return. It looks like later next week and then in the Rogue Valley. Expect that warm up this weekend. Upper 70s on tap for Sunday and then trending back to cooler and wetter conditions by later next week.